Print series on Java Tutorial for Beginners. In this series, today we will take a look at math operations and functions. So I'll quickly walk you through all the math operations and functions that we use in our everyday Java programs. So arithmetic operators are very basic, plus, minus, multiplication is by a star, the backslash is used for division and the percentage is used for modulus. Now difference between this and this is the backslash, the division operator will give you the quotient of a division whereas the modulus operator, this percentage mark will give you the remainder. Alright? Now assignment operators. So you want to perform an operation and at the same time assign the value to the variable. So you use these assignment operators. Plus equals to, minus equals to, star equals to, backslash equals to and modulus equals to. So we'll take a look at all these again when we at the end write the program. But just understand this for now. Now, whenever you perform mathematical operations, if there are more than one operation in a line, there is, has to be a certain order to all those operations. So the very basic order is by the formula BODMAS, B-O-D-M-A-S. So you can remember this, there's bracket first, then there's division multiplication, and then there is addition and subtraction. Okay, so if there is a division and addition in the same expression, division gets precedence. First the division will take place, then the addition will take place. Alright, and if there is division and multiplication both, the operations are performed from left to right. Okay, so first whatever in the left to right order, whatever division is coming first or multiplication is coming first, that particular operation will be performed first. Now there could be times when you don't want it to be performed in that left to right order. In those cases, you just put braces around the operation that you want to be performed first. So these are the basic order of operations. So left to right, we'll first perform the multiplication, then the division. Okay. Now if you don't want left to right, then just add braces as you see here. Okay. Now, there are certain operators for strings as well, which is plus. If you want to concatenate or combine two strings together, all you have to do is give a plus. So the output will come out as talent sprint. Now moving on, we have a math library in Java, which gives us most of the basic mathematical operations that can be performed, packaged together in this library, that is java.lang.math so this is the path of our java library java.lang.math okay now in this math library there are several functions which i'll quickly show you so starting off with arithmetic operations and assignments let's say we have two integer variables integer 1 assigned to 10 and integer 2 assigned to 20. Alright, now the very basic operations that you can do is say integer 1 plus integer 2. Now this will give you the output right out there. Alright, let me just clear this off. Yeah, so to declare two variables, you can directly print the output here. If you want to store this value somewhere, you can all any day create a new variable. And give the same operation here. And print final one, you'll get the same output. All right, now moving on, let's say we have two strings. String. Let's say first name.
and second name. Now you can perform the same operation on this F name plus Now let's say if you want to perform some operation on the variable integer 1. Let's say you need to increment its value by 25. So we say integer 1 is equals to integer 1 plus 25. Alright. So this is one way to do it. But the shortcut way to do it when you want to perform some operation on a variable and do the assignment also. So what we are doing here is we are adding 25 to integer 1 and then the final value we are assigning back to integer 1. So what we can do in that case is just remove this and use the assignment operator plus equal to and say 25. Alright, what this will do is this will add 25. So add we know by plus and assign it back to integer 1. We can check it. Thirty five. Similarly, you can also do other operations like multiplication and assignment. Let's say multiply it by twenty. And now check the output. All right. So this assignment operators they just perform this operation multiplication division whatever you give here on the variable and then assign it back to the variable all right now as we talked about the math library it gives you certain methods that you can use to perform on your variables so for example let's say we need to find the maximum out of the two integer one and integer two so for that we already have a method defined in the math library Let's say we create a new variable max which will hold the maximum of the two variables. So you simply say maths dot and you see here you get a whole wide list of all the operations that this math library can do. So decrement, flow division, exponents and max. So you just call this function max and you give the two variables here integer one and integer 2 all right so this predefined maths library with the function max will help you calculate the maximum of the two numbers you don't have to write any logic for it so when you hover over any function you'll see all the details about that function so this max function has the syntax public static int max and it takes two variables a and b so we'll discuss more about functions later on but just to explain you how this max function is working and it will return the maximum of two now when you print max here you'll get the one that has maximum value that is 200 since we multiplied integer one by 20 that it becomes max and we get that output. All right. We'll take a look at logical and relational operators in our next video. Until then, keep coding. Bye-bye.